Hello everybody, we're here today to take a look at the new DeWalt lawnmower. It's a DCMW P233U2. There's a lot of different lawnmower kits that are out there, so when you take a look at buying one, you want to pay a lot of attention to how many charges it comes with, the type of batteries it comes with, and um, what kind of, uh, whether it's the older model, which was a 220, or whether it's this new style right here. We're going to compare the two of them in just a bit. First, we're going to open up this box, take a look at what's inside, and then I'll bring the old one out and we'll compare the two side by side. Okay, now this lawnmower, just like the old one, it has three different modes. You can either just broadcast the clippings. The, on the old style, the clippings came out the back. On this new style, they're going to come out the side. Um, both of them had a bagger, so we've got that, and we'll put that to one side. And then, of course, they both did mulching as well, so that's where the, the clippings get just getting chewed up. One thing that's unique about this particular model that I got is that this is a 20... 20 um, volt 10 amp hour battery so it's a little bit of a different style than some of the batteries they've had up to this point it's not quite as large as a flex volt battery and you'll see if you compare it to the 5 amp hour this is the one that the original lawnmower came with um, it's quite a bit larger um, so 5 amp hours 10 amp hours so you should get you know about twice the time out of it um, a lot of people are having trouble with the two 5 amp hour batteries lasting very long. You'd have to have like a quarter acre lawn. Um, this brings you up to like a half an acre or something like that. So let's see what else we have in here. You've got two charges now. That's another difference with the old one. It only came with one charger, so it took you twice the amount of time to recharge. Let's see, these are, these are small, fairly small chargers. These are DCB-107s. So you get two of those. This is the side chute. And as I mentioned, the old one didn't have a side chute. And we'll take a look at that later. And then you get the safety key and then the handle knobs. All right, so when you take a look at this lawnmower, you'll notice that it's quite a bit different. They've kind of reconfigured this whole engine on the top. Um, and what I'll do is I'm gonna get rid of the box, all the packing materials, put everything together. I'll go get the old one. We'll look at the two side by side. Okay, here we are with the uh, new lawnmower that we've just put together. And this is the old one that I bought a couple of years ago. This is the 220 version. Um, just a couple of quick notes. Um, when we put this together, all we really had to do was stand up these two bottom parts of the handle, um, click those right back in place. They've got little uh, adjustments here that I'll show you in a bit when we fold the handle back down. And then you just plug on this top part, being careful not to twist this cord here. Um, this cord you want to just clip back into the side clip here. And once you put those in place, remember the knobs that were in the bag. Uh, we just put those right through, put the bolt in, and tighten them up and we're all set to go, okay? The other part that we had to put together was this uh, bagger, or the bag here. Um, there's a metal bar that goes inside on the top, so first feed the handle, or the, the metal bar inside while keeping the handle on top, and then you just clip the plastic edges all the way around. So that's all there was to put this thing together. It was real easy, it went pretty quick. Now, let's take a look at the uh, these two lawnmowers. Okay, so again, this one's a 20 inch version, 21 and a half inches over here. Uh, you'll notice this one had, they're both, um, they're both brushless motors, so make note of that. I've sometimes seen comments with people saying one of them's not brushless, but they're both brushless motors. Um, you've got a small wheel on the front of the 220 model and a large wheel on the back, or large wheels on the back. Um, on this new Elan motor here, we've got slightly larger wheels than the front wheels here, but it's the same size wheels all the way around. Um, some a discrepancy I noted on the, because uh, like I said, I bought this down at Home Depot and I was looking at all the specs of it, and it was talking about that they're both five position um, settings for the height, and uh, that's not the case. This one's a five setting, this one has six, and uh, we'll take a look at those. 
So the way they're set up is you just kind of put those on one side. So as you adjust the height here, both wheels will adjust. So like a lot of the gas lawnmowers, you had a, a single one of these levers on each wheel and you had to make sure you got them all right. Uh, this one you have a setting here and a setting on the back right. Um, so that takes care of both sets of wheels at the same time. This 220, a little bit of a difference with this one, you get a single handle that adjusts everything. And like I said, there's only five height settings, so this one doesn't go quite as high. Um, but, you know, that's, that's the, a big difference between how the two set up. Now, one thing you want to be mindful of this is this handle is really convenient because you only have to mess with one of them. But sometimes if you're mowing in around bushes and so forth, if you catch it just right, you can knock that thing down. So just kind of be mindful of that. It's not a big deal. I mow around bushes all the time, and I think it, in two years it might have happened to me twice. So it's not a big deal. Um, let's see, a little different shape on the old one. You see it's a, it's a higher and narrower stance. This one's kind of lower to the ground and, of course, inch and a half wider. Um, and like I mentioned before, they've kind of reconfigured this top part. So if you take a look at the battery compartment, this one comes up. I've only got one battery in here right now because I took out the flex bolt over here to show you guys, but I'll show that to you later. You have to have two batteries to run this thing. It does not run on one battery. It has to always run on two. Um, but this is the flex bolt 9 amp hour battery, and uh, that fits fine in this one. This one also takes the flex bolt batteries just, just as well. Um, so, so, so what I'll show you about this is you'll see that these batteries go in like that, facing down, and these doors do not stay up. I'm sure they did that so that you, when you went to change your batteries, you didn't leave the compartment open and then get sidetracked and then it rains or something. They probably did that to, just to protect the whole thing. And it's the same thing with this one. It's, uh, once you put it up, you have to hold it up to change the batteries and it falls back down. So it's, it's a good feature. Sometimes you wish it would stay open, but you can understand why they did it. Um, so, so like I said, this one sits a little lower. This one's sitting a little higher. Um, but the batteries on this one, batteries on this one slide straight in like that. Now this is one of my DeWalt uh, flex bolt batteries that sometimes sticks. So that's what's going on with that. But those just come in and out of there pretty, pretty quick like that. And you'll see they have no problem fitting. So you, you'll be able to take that. You'll be able to take the new 12 amp hour battery or anything else. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the sides of these things. I'll grab the bag and put the bag back in this one. One thing about these bags, let me, let me show you this. Here's the old bag, here's the new bag. So the new bag's quite a bit wider, you can see that. Um, it's longer, and if you hold it up, or if you look at it through the light, it's hard to see from that camera, you've got kind of a finer mesh over here in the older bag and a little bit bigger mesh on this newer bag, so it should get a little bit better airflow through there. One of the things that you'll want to know is how well a bag goes in and out, because when you're going through a lot of changing out leaves, dumping leaves and dumping out grass clippings, um, you want that thing to come in and out of it easily, and this one does that, so that's good. It's just like the old one. The old one was real easy to do, and I'll tell you right now, that old lawnmower is the fav my favorite lawnmower. It's the best one I've ever owned. And I've owned a lot of really good lawnmowers. Uh, I really like the old Honda gas mowers or the new ones even. Um, but um, th these are even better. When you get rid of gas and oil, it's just so much easier to take care of the tool. And you can store it so much easier too. These things will fold right up. These handles, let me show you that. You pull out on these and you just fold the the handle down, let me just try to get that like that, and you'll see that folds right over. These can unscrew, and you can fold this part right back. So, very easy to use, um, and what you want to do is uh, you can just take and fold these right up and hang it on your wall if you want. So, it's, it's a really easy lawnmower to, to store. Um, let's take a quick look at how these things run.
So, you remember that with the knobs, uh, there was also a safety key in the package. You want to put the safety key right up in there, and then all you do is you just push down on this button here, and you pull back on the spale. And that's how lawnmowers start. So, if you listen to it, you'll see it's a fairly quiet lawnmower. Now let's take a listen to the old one. And back to the new one. So this one's a little bit lower tone, seems to be a little quieter than the, than the older one. Um, Let's see, a couple of, couple of quick points. Um, you'll see my old one here. I took and uh, wire tied the uh, key in here because I don't have kids around anymore and I'm not worried about someone starting it, so I just don't want to lose the key. Um, so you might want to consider just ways to not lose that key. Um, another thing that I typically do whenever I get a new lawnmower, once I've made sure it works and everything's running fine, I give the top a coat of wax and then underneath, I will spray it with some fluid film, which is a good way to protect the bottom from anything sticking up underneath and from rusting. So that's something you might want to also look into. Let's take a quick look at the batteries. Um, like I said, I threw Flexvolt batteries in this one just to make sure they fit all right and everything fits fine. What I'll do is I'll push this aside and bring you back here to the this the wall table to uh, take a look at some of the different batteries so you can get an idea of what the sizes are like. Over here is your two amp hour battery. Um, so that's a pretty small one. It's not going to do anything for the lawnmowers. Uh, they'll just run one or two um, up and backs. And uh, here's the five amp hour that I was talking about. So you can see these 10 amp hours are almost the same size as, as, a, as a nine amp hour uh, flex volt. If you are getting into DeWalt tools, um, and you're buying a lot of different tools and things like that, you're getting into the 60 volt series, you're gonna wanna buy the lawnmower kit that has the flex volt. Um, these I'm sure are, are nice batteries. I haven't used them much. Um, as you can see, I haven't used them at all. These are the first time I've seen them, um, but they're 20 volt batteries. Uh, the flex volt will go between 60 and 20 volt depending on what it's plugged into. So if you're getting into the flex volt line, you definitely wanna look at buying the kit that has the two flex volt batteries. Um, but it, keep in mind, it's going to be about an, another hundred dollars more for that kit uh, than the one that comes with these 10 amp hour batteries. Um, let's take a quick look at how the side chute goes on to the new one. I will pull that back here. All you do with the side chute, pick up this, and there's a little bar underneath there that, that it just clips into. Put that on. And that's it, it's that easy. Just comes on and off, just like that. And that's how you, you shoot the grass out the side or you can leave that down and mulch it if you take the bag off. So that's it in mulching mode. As I mentioned with this one, the old one does not have the side shoot. So what happens with this one so once you take the bag out, you spin that around, the grass comes right out of here and lays down behind the lawnmower. So on this one, it's going to shoot out the side, that one's coming out the back. Those are about the biggest differences I can see. Um, it looks like a really good lawnmower. Um, and like I said, I've been very happy with this one. If you really want to be extra green, you can also take and uh, plug your charges into an inverter if it's as 400 uh, watt or more and uh, you could charge the batteries off a solar panel so um, just some really neat things hope you have good luck with it and uh, we'll see you next time